What's up guys? Have you ever been in a situation where you wanted to film yourself? Either on a trip or while trying to make a short film, but you didn't or couldn't ask a friend for help. Maybe you are too shy to do whatever you wanted in front of that friend. Or maybe you got help but didn't get the shot you wanted. I believe you will all have. Also, you might be alone at home or going out to shoot a more emotional film about yourself but don't end up with what you wanted. What if you wanted to shoot something that looks cinematic? What should you do? Well, let's find out in this video. Today, I'm going to show you a few important points that will help you feel something very nice like this. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, let's start. The first point, determine the style. This means figure out what style to shoot your film in. Is it cheerful, sad, or funny? Is it serious, dramatic, or lighthearted? Remember, if there are more than two styles in your short story, it could feel incoherent and messy. The second point, plan your shoot. What does it mean? Know how long you want your short film to be. Personally, I like to find music first. I use music to help me determine the length and pace of my short films. Instead of editing the music to fit the footage, timing is easier to control that way. This is a habit of mine I find helps me keep the clear direction. Of course, you can add the music after editing the video, but keep in mind to respect your original concept. The third point, storyboard. Here in this world, you might think it sounds too professional, however, it's not. You don't need to be good at drawing at all. Even with very bad drawing, a storyboard will still let you plan things like where is the subjecting frame, how close is it to the camera, is there any camera movement, what is the sequence of events. Knowing all the events and having it on paper will make the whole shooting process much more efficient. Instead of having to come up with all this idea on the spot which you might regret later. Remember, those drawings are just for yourself. So long as you understand them, it's fine. Or you can write a description of what you want instead of drawing. The fourth point, equipment. Of course, a smartphone or a camera must be prepared. A tripod is a must. There are some affordable and lightweight tripods available. Pick something light or else you won't want to bring it with you. This is the basics and pretty much essential. The fifth point, frame rate. For this type of short video, I suggest you choose 50, 60 or up to 120 frames per second. When you add a video, reduce the speed to make a slow motion shot. It gives you a very cinematic feel. Also, high health shot will be much more stable when slowed down. The sixth point, emotional expression. You must express your emotions in the video. So show a little bit of acting. If you want to shoot something gloomy, you should not show a happy expression on your face. Of course, if your shot is supposed to be relaxed and happy, try to show your sunny, smiling face. It will make the video more interesting. The seventh point, shooting angle. Picking the right angle is very important. It's one of the keys of distinguishing the quality of any video. 
A very common and very generic angle is shot by holding a camera near your chest. Be more original, for example, put a camera on the ground and shoot yourself from a very low angle or shoot yourself from your back. Find some angles and camera positions that others don't use frequently and your video will look very special. Eighth point, color grading. Determine the warm and cold tones of your video. Don't make a video appear cold for a while and then warm after. Keep the colors between each shot unified. If you don't know how to match video colors, you can watch my previous video that I will link in the description down below. The above 8 points will definitely bring your video creation to the next level. Let's work hard together. See you next time.